Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. So what's the deal with the lack of rainfall? Well, we talked about it yesterday that I wasn't really confident about those rain chances and I also questioned just how much rain we will see. It's all about our weather pattern right now. We are under what's called an omega block. Now it's beginning to break down and there's going to be a major pattern change next week. But let me kind of give you a little weather 101 on Omega Blocks and also tell you a little bit about the forecast in this video forecast. So temperatures are right on par, right around 70 degrees. It was a mild start to the morning and as expected, not a whole lot of rain. This is an 18-hour satellite and radar loop. We did see a little bit of sunshine during the late morning into the afternoon. In fact, I was running around the neighborhood, saw that sunshine, but the daytime heating kind of bubbling up the clouds a little bit and there is a little bit of rain out there. Now, it's mainly in southwestern a Benton County as well as northwestern Washington County and northern Adair County. Now that's actually lifting to the northwest so there could be a little isolated shower and they're very limited so as far as the Razorback baseball game there could be a little bit of a stray shower during for the six o'clock uh, pitch versus Creighton but we're not looking at anything major and uh, not really made, making major delays. However as we look off to our west what is the reason we haven't seen the downpours? Well we got a dissipating front that's a cold front not much of one that is moving through the area right now a warm front that's down to our south now we've got high pressure to our east and a low pressure system that is tightly wound but is beginning to weaken somewhat it's kind of spinning out the friction of the land is preventing the spin from uh, strengthening so it's weakening but there is energy that is moving in from the southwest so as we look at the water vapor you can see that big low just churning right over Colorado just south of Denver that brought quite the snowstorm for the Rocky Mountains however the jet stream energy as you'll notice is still a little bit far to the northwest so that means a lack of energy over our area so also, there is this omega blocking pattern. Now, I'll show you exactly what an omega block is, but it's preventing this low from moving east anymore. It's slowly moving, so it's a uh, essentially a cutoff low from the jet stream. There's another low that's a kicker system that's off the west coast of the United States. But as we zoom out a little more, you'll see a low well off the east coast in the central Atlantic. You'll see another low that's off of the... Uh, uh, basically the Rocky Mountains and the uh, southern and central plains and a high pressure system that's across the uh, southeast U.S. See how that makes a capital omega? It's what you call an omega block. So these lows don't really move all that fast and progress eastward. That's why they saw all the heavy rain in Houston. That's going to be lifting north. So that means our lack of rainfall uh, is going to be pretty uh, predominant. Now there will be some rain overnight tonight and into tomorrow as another additional uh, weather piece of energy swings in. On Tuesday night, this is tonight and into the morning, not really a whole lot of activity until that line of rain and thunderstorms does move in. I think the best chance of rain will be early Wednesday morning. This is going to weaken as it moves into northwest Arkansas. By Wednesday afternoon into the evening, you can kind of see it dissipating. And then we get an additional wave of energy. It's finally that cutoff low that is moving out, that omega block. It starts to break down. The low is going to lift to the east, and so we see clearing on Wednesday. But Thursday, the actual low moves pretty close to right overhead, and I think we do get a little bit of additional rain on Thursday. So to sum it up, the omega block is preventing that low from moving eastward. The energy is remaining to the west. Now we do get some thunderstorms rolling in overnight tonight and into Wednesday morning. It clears out by Wednesday afternoon, but that actual low that you saw over Colorado is going to be moving overhead on Thursday. That's going to bring some additional light rain, then it finally pushes out. Half inch at most, not really a whole lot of rain with this system. Next week is going to get rather active and our rain totals will be increasing as southwest flow develops in the southwestern United States. So that's the latest from your weather authority. Hopefully you learned a little bit and have a good one.